Welcome to the Doom Wizards broadcast. It's June 24th. Every time I turn around, there's some something else happening. But wait, there's more. TV meteorologist quits after receiving threats and harassment over climate change coverage. I've not quite gotten to the point that Chris Gloninger spent the past 18 years breaking down local weather news, and he's making news now because he's getting death threats for explaining how the weather was linked to the climate crisis. I'm telling you folks, the further we spiral down into collapse, more will people be radically charged to attack you based on your beliefs. Looks here uh, on the side, Bruce Willis is uh, pretty much clocked out. You know, I stopped giving a shit about subscribers when I started talking about reality and saw my subscriber count go radically up and down. I mean, it gyrated, gy, if that's a word, very volatile, just very volatile. And it, it confused the shit out of me because here I was talking about reality, presenting the truth, and you just can't get hung up on it. And I also want to admit that I've made a scene, made it, made a, uh, I don't want to say that. I, been speaking out very loudly against the views which I disagree with on Collapse Club. Look, I, I appreciate the guy's work. I think he's intelligent in the sense that he can compile the data and present it in a chart, but I don't see eye to eye with us maintaining any sense of civil order, international order, or resources to continue our exploitive existence here on earth past 2030 there are too many feedback loops tipping points uh, political failures border crises there's too much too much in the pipeline it's rigged to blow i don't see us he's thinking there'll be just two billion less people by 2050 really after we've done nuked each other and invaded each other's countries, and it's so much worse than what the models are predicting. Look, I'm saying we'll be at 1.8 degrees Celsius by 2030, thereabouts, even though we moved the baseline back. We're all, it's it's in the rearview mirror. It's baked in. The energy, Earth energy imbalance is, is just completely out of whack, and it's, 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 it's exponential. It's not that hard to see the future. You don't need that much imagination. Okay, it's so bad, meteorologists are apologizing for this heat wave. Satellites observe record-breaking marine heat wave hit in North Atlantic. This is a lot of doom. The doom is heavy, and I want to take a break from this, guys. I mean, every time I turn around, there's, there's something else. Tropical Storm Cindy makes history as it forms in the Central Atlantic. You know, I get, what, two or three hundred views. Same with Jim Massa. Great content. Two or three hundred views. You know... Humpty Dumpty and them, same thing. Uh, Nick Breeze and, you know, he gets, a you know, maybe a couple more thousand. But, like, you total it all up and it's nothing. First, third name, storm of the season, back to the news. It's nothing. You, gotta, you, you can't let your sense of identity or ego be rested upon a view count when you're talking about reality in a post-truth world. You dig? Climate and economy. June 24th. This is intense. Red alert heat in China for a third day. Hottest ever June. They're giving out warnings. Exceptional heat in Mongolia by proxy. Half a million people fled uh, northeast India. So you're flooding. More flooding. Alright, did we mention, did, real quick going back, did we mention this is one of the worst heat waves is killing billions of you know, billions of marine life, except it's sweating in winter, northern Ar Argentina and Paraguay. Record-breaking warmth for June. You know, there's that chart that's been floating around with, can I look it up? I don't know. Look, Sacramento is building smoke shelters as a safe. Let me take a break from this. Let me look at this uh, sea temperature chart that went viral, you know, that this guy made. Is it on the thing? No, it's not. On oh, here it is. Something like that, right? You know, all variations of that. 
I see, and it's going back up, by the way. Well, we're going to get to that in a moment. I see the 2024, 2025. It's just going to keep. I know there's some variability in it. That's the point. There's some variability, but it's it's the trend is upwards. All right, you don't need to be rocket science. You do not have that little of imagination. You know, you don't even have to trade stocks. Just look at it. Connect the dots. So many people still having children. It's bonkers. Uh, tornadoes struck a coal mine. U.S. honeybees suffer second deadliest season on record. Canada was an extreme global hotspot in extremely hot May. You know, some say hope this is not every year, but I don't know. We could, you know, here it is. North Atlantic anomaly continues to defy logic. Anomalies are still spiking, now 0.7 above recorded territory. It's hard to, hard to put into words how difficult it is to achieve those numbers across an entire basin. You know, tear through ocean life like a wildfire. Record of wildfires in Britain. You, look, you watching that? Do not watch. Austria. Okay, more insane temperatures. And then the AMOC is basically like breaking down in front of our eyes. I'm not going to play this clip, but you guys should watch this. You know, there's no action. There's no action, no movement. People dead asleep. Too tough shit. You're a, a highly sensitive person or intelligent or speak logic and and reason. Falls on deaf ears. It's about sports ball. All right. Happy early Independence Day. Here's where I'm going next month. Maybe you can join me. It'll be fun. All right. Don't get death threats. I'll talk to you later, folks. See ya.